In the following video, I will show you how to answer the January 2010 question 3 is a question uh, from the OCR called for paper on calculus of trigonometric functions. Let's take a look. The question says, by expressing cos 2x in terms of cos x, find the exact value of this integral. Now, you should know the following. You should know this by heart, so I'm going to put an L for learn. You should know that cos of 2x is 2 uh, cos squared of x subtract 1. So it said, by expressing cos 2x in terms of cos x, find this. The obvious thing to do is where you see cos 2x, substitute 2 cos squared x subtract 1. So I'm going to call this here the integral we're trying to find. The integral is therefore the integral between pi by 4 and quarter pi and pi by 3 or a third pi of 2 cos squared x subtract 1 all divided by cos squared x and that integral is with respect to x. Now the numerator is a, a subtraction um, so we can divide each component of the numerator by the denominator. This integral would therefore be the integral between pi by 3 and pi by 4. Well 2 cos squared x divided by cos squared x is simply 2 and this would be subtract 1 over cos squared x and 1 over cos squared x is sec squared x. So this would be subtract sec squared x with respect to x. Okay, now you should again, I'll write in a different colour pen, know the following. You should know that if you differentiate tan x, you get sec squared x. And conversely, if you integrate sec squared x with respect to x, you would get tan x back, plus a constant of integration. So this is something here you should be familiar with, so you know the integral of sec squared x. So let's integrate everything. The integral of 2 with respect to x is 2x. The integral of sec squared with respect to x is tan x, so this would be minus tan x. And you evaluate that between your limits of pi by 3 and pi over 4. So you put in pi by 3 first, and you get 2 pi over 3. When you put in pi by 3 to tan x, uh, you get root 3, so this would be subtract root 3. And then you put pi by 4, uh, you've worked that out, and you subtract the answer when you put pi by 4 in. 2 times pi by 4 is pi over 2. And uh, pi by 4 into tan gives me 1, so this would be minus 1. So if we work this out, 2 pi over 3, 2 thirds pi, uh, take away uh, pi by 2. So that would simply be pi over 6 if you work that out. And you get minus root 3, minus minus a 1, which would be plus 1, so it would be minus root 3 plus 1. Okay, I hope you found the following uh, useful in your revision for core 4, and in particular for your revision of uh, calculus with trigonometric functions. Thank you very much for watching and listening.